Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video here. So we actually do have a bit of an update for Isle of the Dead uh, that, that I really do want to get into here. It's something that is actually pretty exciting and I, uh, yeah, Jeffrey D. Morgan teased a little bit here in, in an Instagram post that I, I do want to get into and uh, yeah, all I'll say is that Isle of the Dead I, I really do think is going to be one of those shows that I don't want to say better than The Walking Dead currently is right now because I'm really enjoying The Walking Dead story right now, but there's just something about Isle of the Dead and what that show can bring that really, I think, refreshes everything, right? And I think a big issue with The Walking Dead, and it's kind of funny because a lot of us don't really see it as an issue. And honestly, I, I don't I don't actually see it as an issue, but it was becoming an issue in like, what, season six or something like that? Season six or seven. And that is the fact that everyone stays in Alexandria. Like a lot of people back then, and I used to point it out as well, like I used to always feel like, you know what, you got to move on from Alexandria. You can't stay here forever. But then people would be like, well, then what? You're just going to go find another community that's going to be lost. Like, are you going to go from community to community? You know, you got to change it up a bit. Maybe you just stay here for now, which is basically what they did. And I do agree with it overall. But I also do understand that that survival aspect to it, you know, that element to the, the apocalypse story was is so important that I think people miss that. And I so that's why I think having Maggie and Negan in New York trying to survive. Uh, and if there's running zombies, I'm not entirely sure what the threat's going to be. I have no idea. But just that there, you know, that's going to be amazing with all those visuals and stuff like that. So that's why, I, like, All the Dead, I think, is going to be such a big show. You know, in terms of the Daryl spinoff, I think that's also going to be really big because he's going to Europe. Before that news came out, I was kind of unsure about it. Like, I was going to watch it. But, you know, the Europe element definitely changes things because, obviously, he's out there looking for somebody, right? We still need to learn a lot more details about that. So I hope that we do learn more stuff coming out soon, maybe at Comic-Con. But, obviously, like, it's kind of hard to give out stories details because obviously we still have part three to go here right so in terms of details i more i more mean like a you know uh a, a show title maybe some casting information uh writer information directors and stuff like that right or or, or i guess how long the episodes are gonna or how long the episodes are gonna be like how many episodes right just stuff like that and i think we will find that out in a, a little over a month but anyways let's get into this here so obviously before we go any further make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get more walking to content like this but let's talk about Jeffrey Dean Morgan's post here that I just found so, so exciting. And I mean, it's, it's blowing up. A lot of people are freaking out about it. He posted it a few hours ago and he says, found this fan art the other day. First off, it's just killer. Rick missing his arm following the Kirkman comic storyline. Outstanding. Also makes me miss Mr. Lincoln. Uh, damn, we had fun. Gearing up for 11C, the end is nigh. Crazy to think about, though stories shall continue, month and change away from Negan and Maggie strapping up in New York City. No rest for the wicked. And make no mistake, wicked is making a return. So, first of all, there's just so much here to, you know, obviously, just the reference here to Rick, just, you know... I just, it's really cool. Um, everyone's freaking out in the in the comment sections. Everybody is just like, I'm seeing these people here saying, we all miss Mr. Lincoln. Someone else is like, uh, like help, I can't breathe <laughs> and whatnot. Uh, people just, you know, I think it, also Angela Kang, you know, is commenting on here. People just in general love the fact that he's referencing Andrew Lincoln here, right? He's talking about uh, him, you know, just, I guess, Isle of the Dead and whatnot. And it, it was exciting. When I saw this, I got really excited. I got hyped immediately. And this is the one thing that I really do like is that, you know, a lot of the actors and stuff, I, I guess more specifically Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Norman Reedus, it's really only those two. They really hype up, you know, the fan base a lot. No one else really does. No one will say anything like like they'll do stuff when the show is on kind of thing. But it's not like the stuff in the off season where they'll post stuff right to hype up people and just to show that appreciation. Everyone else is just kind of quiet and just does their own thing, which, again, that's totally cool. I'm not saying anything, whatever. But I more just want to say that, like, I personally really appreciate the fact that they do stuff like this just in the off season, post stuff like this, just to hype up people, you know, show show some fan appreciation and whatnot. It just as somebody who is a big fan of this universe, it's just it's really exciting. It's really cool. And obviously, I'm a fan for life of them. Right. But I do want to talk about a little thing that he put here at the end which says no rest for the wicked 
And make no mistake, Wicked is making a return. So I'm trying to like, I'm really trying to understand what he what he meant there. What, like when he says no rest for the Wicked and make no mistake, Wicked is making a return. Does he mean like, because this show's going to be Wicked, you know, this show's going to be awesome? Or does he mean that an old version of Negan that a lot of us fell in love with is making a return? That's something that I'm actually kind of, you know, if that is true, I am so on board with because obviously a lot of us have liked this aspect to Negan where he's kind of redeeming himself. He's being nice and whatever. But I do miss the old Negan. I really miss when he would just kind of screw around with people and he was so, you know what I mean? He that, he was just so much fun like that. And I think if he were, if he was to return to some element of that, or just return or go full blown, you know, become that man. I think people are going to love it because he says no rest for the wicked and make no mistake. Wicked is making a return. Like I just, I, that's the first thing that comes to mind is I, I just, I interpret that as I do think that old version of Negan will be making a return in some sense, you know, where he's a little bit more aggressive and just, you know, uh, who he was. And I, I like that. I actually do like that because I I could also see from a writing perspective and maybe even from Jeffrey Dean Morgan's perspective, you know, uh, and this is just me sort of interpreting and just guessing. But I could see how when you're when you're when you're playing Negan, when you're writing Negan, I could see how playing the redeeming character or the redeeming side of the character could get a little boring. Right. Just because. You don't want to see the character like that. And maybe you kind of get sick of it because you're like, no, I want to do the fun stuff. And Jeffrey Dean Morgan, we all know, like when he signed on to play Negan in season six and even in seven, oh man, he loved playing that that dark character, right? Like just the, the, the dark side of Negan was so cool, so much fun to watch. I think he really relished in that. And you could tell whenever he was on stage, carry, you know, he would carry that bat around like... He he just he loved it, and to see a version of that come back, you know, or just you know him come back in general, I think would be amazing. I I I really would like him to have Lucille back if it was possible. I know it's not really possible because of where the character went, but oh man, you know, like that that weapon was so iconic, and it does kind of suck because it's not like he can really have the weapon back. Because Maggie's there, right? It's almost like disrespectful to Maggie. But the thing that we've learned about Negan, I would say this season, is that he doesn't really give a shit, you know, like what Maggie thinks. Like, I I always thought that maybe he would just not have the bat out of respect for her, this and that, he felt bad. I think he feels bad, yeah. But, you know, he's going to fight to survive. He does not give a shit what Maggie thinks at all. And we've seen that play out, like, especially in 11b but yeah i mean obviously the chances of lucille making a return i mean he would have to like recreate the bat basically it would look different and um you know he kind of let go of that before so i don't know if he will go back to that but maybe he'll have another weapon right maybe he'll find some other weapon and that'll be sort of his thing i don't know he also mentions that filming is going to begin in a little over a month and change away so that's interesting because he says month and change away from negan and Maggie strapping up in New York City. So um, I'm guessing after Comic-Con, you know, like obviously a month from now would be July 14th. And then in change, I mean, literally like, you know, a week after July 14th is basically Comic-Con. So I'm assuming it's going to be like the week after that, right? So in about 40 days or something, they're going to start filming about there probably, right? Um, I mean, man, you know, like the, the, the thing is, the stuff that's going to come out there, and that's the crazy thing, is like Comic-Con is only like 30-something days now, so it's approaching. They're going to start promoting it really quick. We're mid-June. It's June 14th already. A lot of this stuff is going to start to ramp up now. It's been quiet for a while, but I don't think it's going to be quiet for too much longer because they're going to start to promote it any day now in the next, like, what, two weeks for sure? Like, for sure, like, July 1st going forward, they will start to, like, you know, promote the season a little bit. Then we get Comic-Con, and then there's Tales of the Walking Dead, obviously, in August, and they're going to be filming this show you know at the end of july there's also uh the daryl show i believe is going to be filming this summer that that could be in august or maybe that starts also in july i don't know but we're gonna have a lot of stuff to talk about because tales again like as soon as comic-con approaches basically like we're going to be talking about the walking dead constantly there's going to be tales of the walking dead and that leads us straight into the final eight episode so a lot is going on i'm super excited and and uh i did just want to make one little note here i wanted to say something here because i've been seeing 
some people sort of commenting this and like the the comment section of of I guess this post, but also just other posts in general. And you know, it's about you know just Andrew Lincoln, the fact that all oh, the Rick movies are never coming out. And I'm never like I I know what the people that believe they're never coming out we're, like we're never like, I'll never win an argument with them because they're just gonna say it forever. The thing is, is that I think what people don't understand is. You know, Andrew Lincoln departed the show because he wanted to leave the show. It wasn't like he was just leaving to go and do the movies. He was leaving the show. I think he just, you know, Carl was killed off. I think he just kind of felt like I, I did my time here. I want, I want to be done with the Rick character. I'm done, right? I spent ten plus years here on this, you know, on the show. I'm, I'm done now. And so I think that's why he left the show. I think that was his original plan. I'm I am leaving the show. But obviously everyone else behind the scenes and stuff is like, well, holy shit, that's going to put us into, you know what I mean, for Rick to not be there. And so I think that's why the movie idea came. Because also they talked about it for years beforehand, like, you know, he wanted like Andrew Lincoln talked about leaving the show in season 4 or 5 and then going to do movies and stuff. Like it, it was always sort of a, a thing and I think once he was actually going to leave they really like talked about it and they were like, you know what? Let's actually do the movies. You know, like, like we'll go and do that. But you got to remember too, he still wanted to leave. He still wanted that break. He wanted to get away from it for a bit. And it's only like, as of now, it's only been three and a half years since his last episode. Like, you know what I mean? Three and a half year break, obviously to all of us would be a crazy. Imagine getting a three and a half year break from a job. That's a long time, right? But you got to remember too, when you're when you when you can go and do other things, other movies and stuff, which he has done, like it's just it's different, right? It's imagine committing or devoting your life to something for ten plus years, right? Like you're not gonna come back right away. I think it's just very important to remember there was a reason why he left. It wasn't just like oh, I'm leaving to go and do the movies. No, he left to get a break to go do other things, like he said before to spend some time with his kids and just, I think, just to get away from all of it for a bit. When he's ready, he's going to come back. And, I mean, you also want it to take a little bit, right? Like, you want there to be some time where you really miss this character so much. Imagine if the movie came out in, like, 2021, right? Because a lot of people say that, oh, the movie should have came out a year ago or something like that. Like, actually think about that. Imagine if the movie came out last year. Like, what kind of break is that, right? Because the movie would have came out in 2021, which would have been, like, but well, say came out November 2021, that would have been exactly three years to the day he left the show. Plus, he would have filmed beforehand. You know what I mean? Like, that's not really much of a break when after you devoted your life to something for 10 years. So I just I think that he needed a little bit of a change. He's financially set for life. I think he's enjoying life right now. I think that's what's going on. That's all. You know, he's going to be back. And honestly, that might be what the wait is right now. Like, everything might be done, but it's just sort of, you know, when does and Andrew Lincoln want to come back to do this, right? Like, he wants to make sure everything's going to be perfect, everything's going to be right. And I think that's what's taking so long. To be honest, I think that's what it is. And I think that's why we have the spinoffs. The show is going to be ending because they're gearing up for this. They're building up to this right now. And I think that's exactly why we have the spinoffs. And I think that's why the spinoffs are going to be focused on trying to search for Rick. And I do believe they're going to be filming. You know, they could start filming this year. If it's not this year, it could be next year. Again, I think the focus right now is ending The Walking Dead, which will happen later this year. And then it's going to be on the spinoffs next year in the movies, right? So just, I say, be patient. Just wait. It's been a long time without any update. But I, I really feel like an update's coming at the end of the year. Anyways, I just wanted to say that because I kind of saw the, the comments and stuff on this post. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to get into that. But anyways, post your thoughts down below on Isle of the Dead and, and everything else. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.